What's up guys, how about getting Squad Chase to stay in the match? And shout out to Great Bastard using his team because I really like it. Because it's really cool. And Wild Chase using a U-turn team. None weather. So he got the Tornadoes with the U-turn. His Rudder with the Volt Switch. His Landers will possibly U-turn or maybe Special Shield Force one. His Gen Set most likely be Choice Scarf with the U-turn. And Obvious Standard Sizzle with Choice Bandit U-turn. And the Tree of the Trap, my Tarantar and Terragon, which could be annoying with the U-turn and the Volt Switching. Most likely potential star will be his uh, Sizzle or Genesec or Landorus. But let's start with his, uh, the trip. Predicted me go to my Toronto as first to get the setting up and the Star Fox. So I predicted that. He go to my Rotom. When he started go for the Star Fox, and I start go for the Hydro Pump. Look, I did miss and take it to his Sash. Most likely the next turn he will go ahead and go for the Reversal, try to take me out, but. It won't since it's not stab, and I kind of run a bulky Rotom too. So I, I look for me, I did not miss the next Hydro Pump. If I miss it, it would have killed my Rotom the next turn with the reversal over the trio, which is good. Got rid of that threat, the trio, trapping my Terraki and Tyranitar. So bring in Genesec. I'm most likely Choice Scarf, so he get the plus one special attack. And I don't want to switch out to him, want to take it since I really know what he's going to lock himself into. So he lock himself into Bug Buzz, it's fine. I bring in my Landorus since I resist the Bug Buzz. And I can take it to his part flying Landorus. So most likely go to his Rodan to take my attack. And he doesn't know what kind of Landorus I am. And I'm running a sheer force one. And go ahead and go for the focus by looking for me. I did miss, which is good. So it'll do decent chairman over a half. So much like his run and special defensive. If it was an offensive with the whole lot, take it to the yellow, real low yellow, or to the red. And fortunately, he did miss his hydro, but it did matter because he would have broke my sub. And uh, he could have free switch into a scissor to take me out with a bullet point. But I really don't know the crit matter on the, the next focus blast. Look if I hit that one. So I really don't know what that crit matter on this room. Probably did because it's special defensive. So bring this room had to go for the bullet punch. If he hit that hydro point earlier, I would have switched it out to my Genesec. So I get the hit off, a free hit behind the sub, which is good. So if I had to stir front, I would have killed off his scissor. So I have to bring out my Genesec. I do resist the bullet punch since it's part since Genesec is steel type. So we go ahead and go for another bullet punch and I take it really well. So I can finish out the the Thunderbolt or the Flamethrower. So which I'm gonna do, but fortunately he gets the crit guessing made up for the Rotom, Mr. the Hydro Pump, and a crit too. So I bring my Latias here, so it's fine. I got the HP uh fire so I could easily take it out. But unfortunately for me, I forgot to put the IVs to make it HP fire, which can make this game even more harder for me since Sizzler is a big threat to my team since my Rotom went down and Genesec from that crit. So now I have to have no choice to bring my Tarantar because I really did want the Rocks up. So I know I could live one bullet punch since I battled Great Bastard in my last video and he took the U turn and lived it with one HP from the U turn choice Bandit Max attack. So I know I could live one. A bullet punch too, and I barely live with 18 HP, which is good. So I know I could live bullet punch from Sizzler since it's a great bastard trying to live a U turn from my Sizzler, so since it's a choice bandit. So he bring in his Gen Sec since I know it's choice scarf, get the attack raised, and go fish him out the U turn. I don't want switching to any other parts, just leaving my turn to as death bar since I got the sand up and tracking on, uh, get the special defense boost, which is matters. So he bringing his landers, most likely be sheer force or expert belt it, the physical one. I really don't know yet. So lucky for me, I'm going to speed tie and finish off the HPI sheer force, which is great. So I have to worry about his landers. So now he all he has left is his Genesec and his Tornadus. So so now he bring his Tornadus here to finish me off with the Hurricane or Air Slash. So he showed me you have Air Slash still. Hurricane, okay. So I hope I can get the miss potential 95 accuracy, but I don't. 
So I have to bring my last poke. If I miss the stone edge, it's pretty much good game for me. So look for me, I hit my stone edge and I'm Troy Scarf, so I either take care of his Terrakion. I mean his tornadoes. So Terrakion doing work, which is good. That was crucial. That if I miss it was pretty much good game. So all I have to worry about is Jensen, because I'm worried about the flash cannon. If he has it, it would be good game. He does get the special attack rate by plus one, and I do have the what you call it, the special defense move. I can take three or four hits. But lucky for me, he does not have the flash game, which is good. So I have a good position and win this game. So I hit my last stone, and so Tarek, you my real nigga, got me to win. Hit three stone in a row for the win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Stay tuned for my next upload against Ojama. So, rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.